Hello, and welcome to yet another soul-searching episode of Dirk Niblick and the Math Brigade. Perhaps soul-searching is too strong a phrase for what I had in mind, but perhaps not. Be that as it may, or April, depending on which comes first. Uh, April. As we join our intrepid mathematician, he is in his front yard pruning his shrubbery. I love this time of the year. The days are warm enough to scald the hair follicles in your nose. But at night, it's always cool enough to make long-distance calls to people in Duluth, Minnesota. And while the less-than-mild-mannered math wizard played with his greenery, next door at Mr. Beasley's house, this scene was being played out within an inch of its life. Yes, this is the Beasley within a fortnight delivery system. Can I get a package from Kalamazoo to Poughkeepsie? Has the hen got eggs? You bet I can, and thank you for the confidence. Lovely if I do say so. And if I don't say so, who will? Fluff and Fold, my two almost favorite people, now that Malcolm Forbes has ballooned off this mortal coil. Look, Fluff, a talking bush. Good afternoon, Mr. President. What are you kids up to? Oh, it's you, Lieutenant Nibwick. Well, we'd like to stay in wool gather, Lieutenant, but we've got a new after-school job. That's wonderful. And what might that be? It might be that we're working for a major league baseball organization as greedy idiots, but we're not. We're working as delivery people for Mr. Beasley. My neighbor, Mr. Beasley? You got it, Lieutenant. But now, we must away. There are things to be delivered. Ta-ta! So, Mr. Beasley has started yet another new business. I hope it works out better than the time he tried to sell gas refills for electric guitars. I'd better keep an eye peeled, or at least a grape. Another delivery, Mr. B? Yes, kids, business is booming. And as soon as I can get that stopped, we'll be well on our way to fame and the Fortune 500. What I like best about this job so far, Mr. Beasley, is you pay off when you say you will. Two dollars per mile. That's right. For every mile you travel, I will pay you two bucks. Now get ready to pedal your hearts off. Where to this time, Mr. B? We have two deliveries. One from our hometown. Our hometown is back. Yes, and the proud village it is, too. We take one package to Heck... I remember that town from an earlier episode. As do I, as do I. And then we have a second delivery to there. Oh, I've been there. Where? There. Then you know the way. To where? We're not going to where. I know that. You know what? That we're not going to where. You're going to there. When? Now. We're going to now? No, we're going to there. Where? There. When? Now? Yes. Yes. I couldn't help but over here. Are you going there? I told my client we were going to there. I've been there. Where? Where? There. Up until a few moments ago, I had been in favor of gun control legislation. Perhaps I can help. When? Now. Do you mind if I climb through the window? Why? It's nice to be... Where? Where? Here. Now, what are you about? We have to deliver two small packages, one to there and one to heck. And we get paid two dollars per mile, Lieutenant. So how much will we get for these two deliveries? Yeah, Lieutenant, how much of the moolah falls into my grubby little consumer claws? Well, let's see. From back to there is six miles, so that round trip would be 12 miles. Two times 12 is 24. From back to heck is five miles. The round trip, 10. Two times 10 is 20. $24 plus $20 is $44. You'll be paid $44. They'll be dancing in the streets tonight. I'll say. I'll have enough hogs to buy that farmland where, in the meadow, we can build a snowman. And pretend that he is Parson Brown. He'll say, are you married? We'll say, no, man. I think I'm losing Brad. I'm leaving town. What do you mean, neighbor Beasley? It's going to cost me $44 to pay the kids, Nez Pa. That's right. But I only charge my client $34 for the job. I'm losing 10 beans on this transaction. Why? I think I see a way you can save miles. But how? The kids go from back to there, a total of six miles, and then come back to back, another six miles. That's 12 miles. Yes. Then they go from back to heck and back, which is five miles each way, or a total of 10 miles. And 10 plus 12 is 22. How can that be shorter? Think about it, Mr. Beasley. There is a more efficient way to make these deliveries. And you think about it, too, viewers of the Boob Cube. 
what does Lieutenant Dirk Niblick see that these tired old eyes don't? How can they make the two deliveries without traveling 22 miles? Think about it. Use your noodle. Then, after you've used your noodle, put it back in your soup and eat your lunch. We'll be back so fast, it'll make your spits swim. When we left these guys, they were trying to figure out how they could deliver packages from back to there and heck without expending 22 miles. I must admit, I didn't figure it out. But maybe you did, because you're probably better at solving problems than I am. I had to quit school when I was a tyke and become a vice president. I tell you, Niblick, this is driving me nust. Nust? You mean nuts? I mean nust. Call Edna. Look here, neighbor. You have to go to there and to heck, right? That's a big tell for our good buddy. But is your route the most propitious? Is that a dirty word? No, it means presenting favorable conditions, Fold. I was sick the day we had that. Hey, wait a minute. I see what Lieutenant Niblick is talking about. Oh, sure. I don't, but I'm often the last to know. I didn't find out Joan Rivers was off Hollywood Squares until last week. What do you see, kids? If we go from back to there... And then, instead of going back to back, we go to hack and back. We would save miles. Uh, I'm not really sure I follow this cartographically explicit explanation. Look here, neighbor of mine. If you go from back to there and back, you've gone 12 miles. And if you go from back to hack and back, you've gone 10 miles. A total of 22 miles. Ah, uh, yes, I had that particular computation down to a nubbin. But try this one on for size. I'm a 32 and a half short short. Plan the route as a triangle. Go from back to there, and there to heck, and to heck and back. It's two miles from there to heck. A triangle? What's the difference? Add them up. Six plus two plus five is... Thirteen miles. Instead of twenty-two. Great Caesar's ghost. I saved a bloody fortune because you won't have repedaled your path. Lieutenant Niblick, how can I ever thank you? Well, you could always... Uh... Never mind, I wouldn't get around to it anyway, things being what they are and all. Now you can make money on this trip, Mr. Beasley. You're right. Sure, that's because we get our mileage cut. Instead of peddling our little legs off for 22 miles and making $44, now we just scoot along for 13 miles and make 26 simoleons. But still, you've saved wear and tear on yourselves and your bike. Plus, you've spent less time on this particular delivery. There will be others. But enough of this shilly-shallying. Let's get that bike on the road, shall we? Load her up, Fold! Business is going to heck in a handbasket. I'll be leaving now, Mr. Beasley. Thanks for showing me yet another example of your mathematical prowess, and hopefully turning a marginally interesting premise into an award-winning cartoon show. Uh, <clears throat> catch the lights while you leave, will you? Well, by gosh, about all I can say about this Dirk Niblick story is, well, by gosh. Tune in again tomorrow when I'll think of something else, or not.